Elizabeth here, hailing from a small village in the far east of India. Like any small town girl with uh, limited resources, I educated myself just fine to grab a job wherever I would like to go. I like grabbing the most of the opportunities that lay ahead of me, and one such is the liberty of women to make choices. And this has led me to lead a life of an independent woman, thanks to my family. The very reason why I wanted to start this vlog um, is to share my journey of being a small town girl with dreams and aspirations. Got knocked down once or twice, maybe even more than that, by failures aka reality, reality bites you know. <laughs> When you are from such a small town, what is the extent to which you can dream of living your life? Moving to the city, that would be mainland India? Exactly, what else? Because that's what everyone from home has been doing so far. And I too am no different. Um, you go through life as it comes. Fall down a couple of times, maybe even more frequent than that. And, um, but one who does not give up hope, okay, hope during such trials and tribulations are the ones who see the brightest sky. And all you're judging me on that, it's not just for the saying, because. During one such cloudy moments of my life, uh, when I felt all those literally shattered, literally, I dreaded imagining my entire life here, and I had valid reasons for that. A, it's already far away from home. Okay. B, I suffered severe financial setback due to poor investment. I don't even want to think of. See, who can forget personal melodramas? Um, the place that I'm here in is highly polluted. Uh, poor public transport, desert dust. Um, it has a, a highly conservative homogeneous society. And the list can go on and on. So one can imagine. It didn't take me long for me to realize that I didn't want to stay here forever. But I couldn't just resign and relocate. Because my job here pays quite well for India. So till I found a better job elsewhere, I felt stuck. I felt stuck and that's a very, very like, oh, not nice thing. Then one fine day, I got a knock knock. Who's there? Job in London? Relocate? Yeah! And I immediately grabbed the opportunity. And now I'm due to fly soon. Mostly by the beginning of next year. So, as you can see, I had certainly I had many setbacks, okay? But as I was hopping around, Hope came to me in the most unusual way. And this is a shout out to all those who could relate with me. And I'll be extremely helpful, extremely happy if I could help a single soul who has been through or going through. Maybe guard yourself for the future. This is the beginning of a new phase of my life and in the coming days stay tuned for more updates about my life here in India and my voyage to London. Who knows what this holds and where it's gonna lead. You could show your support by liking, commenting and of course subscribing to this channel. Till then, goodbye, mangha.